Hi everyone, it's Nancy here, back with another process video for you. And here I am just sorting out my stash, and I have decided that I'm going to try and use this quirky kit up. Um, I received this and I have actually done a share of this um, kit. But I decided it has just been sitting around and I needed to get it used up. So here I am just going through the papers. Um, there's a real selection um, in here. Um, and I have picked out this um, Amy Tan Plus One um, collection piece. And there's also um, a piece of bright yellow cardstock there. Um, that was also in the quirky kit for um, the last two months. Um, I really, I really like this piece of paper and how it's got that kind of watercolour um, piece in the corner. Um, what I'm doing is I'm just trimming down um, the edges of that so I can mount that up onto a piece of um, that cardstock. Um, I am actually just going to take my trimmer and gut that piece of cardstock out because I decide that I want to mount my photo um, up on that piece of cardstock. So I've just trimmed the, um, the middle out and I'm now going to use um, my ATG to stick that down. Um, unfortunately I kind of forgot where I was putting the glue and realised that the glue went over on the edge so you could see it where I'd stuck the piece of paper on but um, <laughs> you'll see me trying to pick that off but uh, never mind. Um, it doesn't look that bad I suppose. Um, I'm going to be scrapping these two um, photos, they are both um, collage photos um, which I made on my iPhone and they're just some sort of funny photos which I'll, I'll talk about, about a bit later. Um, just want to say a big thank you to everyone who sort of fed back on that last video um, that I put up. Um, I'm currently just using the trial version of Coral Video Studio. Um, but I do find that the playback is um, really jumpy so when I'm doing my narration it's really actually hard to kind of know what you're seeing and where I'm talking if you, if you understand what I mean. Um, I'm not 100% happy with it but I still can't get Windows Media, Media Player to stop um, getting everything out of sync. Um, so I'm still doing a bit of playing about, um, as I said I am only just using a trial version um, for this. Which is a bit of a nightmare, but we will get there. <laughs> um, okay, let's get back to the scrapbooking layout rather than me moaning on. Um, you did just see me in there pull out some older quirky kit stuff. Um, so that was the kit from January. And um, they are um, the Casey Art um, 3x4 cut apart sheets. Um, and that just says, find joy in the ordinary. Um, these photos um, are... As I said, they're a sort of photo collage that I made up. And the four bots together is actually the first time that I was in a car wash by myself. I've been in a car wash with other people, but I've never been in a car wash by myself until this point. Um, so, what's the first thing you do? You, you take humorous photos to send your boyfriend. Um, the photo then I sent my boyfriend of a funny face of me in a car wash and so what do I then get? I get a funny picture of him back going for a car wash um, so we're kind of having like a car wash face off um, and of course that had to be documented in my um, album so as I said I've picked out that um, Find Joy in the Ordinary Cup Art card um, you then saw me cut up one of the 4x6 Amy Tan Project Life cards um, that contains the frame and I just cut that apart and added that to the top and the bottom. Um, I then went through the 3x4 cards and picked out any that had that kind of watercolour effect on or kind of went with the kind of theme of this layout. Um, I don't think I mentioned but I did add that kind of black um, and white mist in the background. Um, so I know that I want to kind of pick up the black somewhere else um, on this layout. So I've um, picked out those two sort of, you know, script font cards there um, from Amy Tan. Um, again, it just kind of goes with the kind of jovial kind of, I don't know, the kind of jovial thing about this layout really. Um, just sort of funny little phrases. Um, of course, you know, when you start moving stuff, you then 
lose where you've put all your layers down so I'm just sticking those back down um, and just working out where everything is going to go I want to kind of keep that bottom um, sort of watercolour cluster sort of clear um, <laughs> the funny thing is is the supermarket that you can see on that very small photo um, colours are yellow and green so <laughs> it seemed to me that this piece of paper was perfect because you know I drew my scrapbooking inspiration from the corporate colours of a supermarket that seems to make sense to me but anyway um, I've kind of got my basic layers down there and they are quite blocky because I want to get these um, product life cards used up um, I've used quite a lot of them because I didn't get the full collection um, the plus one collection and I find getting the project life cards and little bits of papers and stuff I got in kits have been actually really helpful um, in just helping me use those up as well um, I'm kind of pleased in a way that I didn't buy the full um, you know, paper pack because I think I would have got bored of it by now um, here I am just pulling out some old washi tape that I got in a Studio Calico kit um, oh, oh well over kind of a year and a half ago maybe even two years ago um, but I really love it it's a lovely green um, with arrows because I already had the arrows on that top 3x4 card and I also um, cut one of the arrows up as well so I want to just carry that on you will see that I'm using my um, tonic pokey tool because I have lost the pokey tool again it was with me at the crop the other day but I can't find it so a little bit distraught on that but I'm using this other one for the time being um, I was then just going um, through the other bits that I had on my desk um, so I could sort of start layering up some bits and pieces here and then just looking what um, I had around um, not quite sure what I'm doing here because the video has um, frozen a bit oh yes I'm just taking out um, I've got two containers that I keep on um, my desk and this is the desk at my parents house um, this is an old letter rack um, which I find you know letter racks are really useful actually for storing <coughs> letter stickers and different things like that um, so I'm just going through the one where I've had got a variety of letter stickers I've pulled out like some photo corners um, and then just kind of looking at the alphas and other bits and then here is a I think yes it's a Diet Coke tin that um, my boyfriend brought me for Christmas and it was full of Diet Coke but of course I've actually had more use out of the tin and um, this is where I keep some of my larger scraps of um, paper I also keep some of my packets of stickers and some 6x6 six six papers it's a real mix, it's kind of where I dump stuff as I'm making my layouts so I wanted to make sure that I went through this box and kind of had a look what was in there and um, then try to use it up because you know there's quite a lot in that box now and um, it is actually casting a shadow um, across this layout from where I've got my light above it so I do apologise for that so in um, doing my tidying up I did manage to find um, my um, 3D foam excuse me there just having a yawn um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm yawning I always yawn when I do these videos so yeah I've just stuck that down with some um, 3D foam and then I'm just sticking um, a black um, what they call what they call photo corner um, on each of those, and I just think those photos look really good. As I said, um, they were just you know made using that photo um, the photo app. Let me just check. I've got my phone here. Talk among yourselves, people. Um, Pick frame is what I use to to do my um, collages and as I said I, I just think it's a really funny thing to sort of document and how like you know me and my boyfriend were having a face off um, here I have just pulled out I found this it's in my stash and the colours work perfectly it is a fancy pants um, little envelope 
I believe that came in a Studio Calico Project Life Kit. So again, that's sort of six, seven months old. And then this is um, a three by four um, cut apart piece from the Alison Craft recorded collection, I believe. Um, I know it's Alison Craft, but I just wanted to use the um, little phrase that was on there, which says, um, "This is so every day" or something. I can't quite see it from on the screen because I said, "And um, the problem with this Coral Video Studio is." when I'm watching it to narrate the video is really jumpy so that's really irritating I then also found these Heidi Swap um, Rebons um, and found the perfect one there that says um, Faces I Love and then I find another one which did say Crazy Adventures but in pulling it off the sheet I managed to pull the C off <laughs> you saw me trying to kind of unravel it but and didn't work, so I then just stick adventures there up the top. Um, so again, that's just adding a little bit of detail. I'm still fussing with where I'm going to put that um, cut apart piece. Um, I know I want to pop that up on some 3D foam as well because um, I've popped that arrow up, so I want a bit of dimension up there. But I want to make sure I don't cover up that little top photo there, which says car wash, because that's kind of the whole point um, of the layout. So. I want to make sure I keep that in. Um, my video is frozen again. <laughs> oh, I, really, I do apologise for this. Um, so I've just taken out my grunge stamps from Stamping Up and just using um, the Bermuda Bay ink, I believe it might be Bermuda Bay or it might be a lighter one. It's from the new um, inks that were out. Um, and so I've just used that to sort of add some blue ink splatters because that's an ink splatter stamp so I'm really pleased with how that went and then I used the line sort of one as well to add some texture these are just some My Mind's Eye um, cut and paste stickers and they are just in black and white and I wanted to make sure Ooh. excuse me yawning again um, <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that um, I use these up because I don't actually use that many. So I just add sort of three words and one of them is a date and just kind of want to, to just add them on the layout. And I think they just kind of bring out the black um, on this layout. I pull out my wood veneers. I can't find one of my wood veneer boxes, the one where I kind of like stash everything in. Because, in all honesty, it would have made the most sense if I used a car on this layout. See, I mean, it's about a car wash. And I have loads of wood veneers that are cars. But I couldn't find them. Um, and so what I did is um, I just pulled out um, those little stars, which were from a scrap plastic kit. I then pull out this piece of bright yellow sort of crochet trim ribbon. And this came in a scrap plastic kit. Not scrap plastic, a quirky kit. And the one before this and you remember me saying going oh I don't know what to do with this um, I don't know how I'd use it on a page I'd more likely start on a dress um, but it was still just sitting there and the yellow went perfectly actually so I decided to just add that to the bottom but I had issues with my glue um, I tried eventually unclogging and then had to pull a pin out and the pin had corroded in my um, glossy accent so I really need to think about if I want to buy some more glossy accents or I'm just going to stick with the um, other glue that I use um, so I just did add a little bit of that crochet lace up the top as well and now I'm just looking at sticking those stars down and again just adding those in three different places on the layout I said it would have been better if I'd have used a heart but a heart a car um, but, you know, I couldn't find one and actually I'm really happy um, that I used those wood veneers up because I kind of forgot about them. I isolated all my scraptastic wood veneer in that separate container um, because I wanted them to work with the kits but actually they've just ended up sitting in the box so that probably wasn't the best idea. Um, that You and Me wood veneer um, came on a frame um, from scraptastic but I did just cut that out. So I've stuck that down as well. 
I'm just going through some other sheets, sticker sheets here, and I did pull out that crepe paper Christmas one, and it had a bright green um, file tab on, but I just couldn't get it to look right with these photos, so I don't end up um, including that. Um, so I go through my letter stickers, and I find these really old ones. These are actually from 2006, and um, they're Doodlebug Designs, and they are quite cartoony kind of font. Um, I wouldn't say it's my favourite font. Also they are not cardstock, they are cardstock stickers, they're not thickers or anything. Um, and as you know, I do love my thickers. So I do just end up putting those down. And I'm going to fiddle a little bit about with the placement of those. Um, I think that my um, narration is actually going to cut off in a minute. I'm seeing something flash up, so I do apologise um, if that happens. Um, but, yes, yeah, so I've just stuck those down on that bottom corner. And as I normally finish off my layouts, I'm just adding um, ink. And I'm using the skyscraper ink from... These it's from Mr. Who, but it's from a very old studio calico kit, and it's a really nice kind of dark grey black. Um, and then just putting some sort of blue metallic um, ink on as well. And I do go a little bit ink crazy at the end of this, um, but I thought, hey, it's water effect, I'll go. Um, I'm going to put some close ups here at the end, so you hopefully you can see them. Hopefully, this um, video was okay for you to watch and wasn't too sort of stagnated. And I'll be back with some more process video soon, if my laptop and everything agrees with me. Alright then, cheers guys, thank you very much. Bye!